Hey guys, how's it going? Brian Savage here with you. Wanted to uh, make a quick video here and do a sound demo as a uh, response to Matthew's comment on uh, the video about uh, building the, these pedals. This is a delay. This is an overdrive. I got these as kits through um, thefretwire.com and uh, they uh, also, I did a thin line and semi hollow tele kit from those people as well. Check those videos out. Uh, actually, a pretty good company to work with. So, um, check out those videos, check out their website. And uh, I want to say thanks to Matthew and everybody else. I'm over 100 subscribers. Now, I know 100 subscribers don't mean anything when there's people out there with hundreds of thousands and millions. But uh, for me, I just, uh, I did this because the wife says, you're doing this kind of stuff every day. You just record yourself doing it and, uh, you you know, why not do it? And so I, I started doing it and it's been a little over a year now. And in that, in a year, a hundred people said, yeah, I want to know when this guy's doing something else. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, it, it overwhelms me really. I, I can't believe it that uh, people actually watch this stuff. So, thank you. Uh, on to the show. Let's uh, let's play some guitar. Something I rarely do, actually. As much as I do it every day, I rarely do it in my videos. I'm always fixing stuff. So, let's play a little bit today. Um, also... One of my best friends in the whole wide world that you, if you've watched my videos, you've seen me do a lot of his guitars, is my really good friend Dan. And unfortunately, Dan had some health problems, and he's no longer able to play. And let me tell you, it breaks my heart and it breaks his heart, but uh, he, he still can play music. So we got him a harmonica now, and, and uh, we're trying to get him into that. And, and uh, getting playing on the harmonica, but uh, the guitar, unfortunately, is something he had to pass on. And um, he gave me this guitar. It's uh, a Jim Root signature. Um, has the active EMGs. I think it's like 64, 81, or something like that. It's not an 81, 85 set. I forget exactly what it is, but it is the actual EMGs, the plug system, the whole the whole kit caboodle. It's got the recessed heel joint um, uh, I, I love it and brother I could never thank you enough I, I hope you watch this one um, it means the world to me and uh, this and well this one's not going to go out and get beat up at, at shows uh, this one's going to stay right here just like it is and uh, thanks man thank you Anyway, uh, let's play G10. What a wonderful piece of kit. We may be a little out. Let's see. That's the bass sound. Let's get a pick. Um, I'm, I'm not going through any interface or nothing. This is just straight up, unfortunately, my iPad recording this because uh, my camera took a dive and, and so I can't split my audio. I mean, I could, but it would be just so much hassle. So, just straight up what's coming out the camera. Um, sounds so bright because uh, the clean channel is, is that's the clean channel um, and that's with the boost off and I have the EQ set for the crunch channel and actually I need to back your mids up a little bit with the boost on because that's the that's the tone that I like out of this amp so uh, all right, so 
notice I put a little delay. Now I have the timing. Repeats not too much. at that kind of slap back let's go over to the clean channel again you get a little bit of that chicken picking stuff this thing's so bright let's switch guitars something good in my eye. I feel like an eyelash just went in my eye. Alright. There we go. My Michael Kelly. I'll tell you something about this guitar. It's so funny. The neck pickup. I absolutely love it. Bridge pickup. Not too big of a fan of. And I always play the guitar just on the neck pickup. I never use bridge pickup on it because I like the neck so much. I keep telling myself I'm going to get a bridge pickup and put in there. Um, but I don't know what I want. I, I'm not an active pickup guy necessarily, so, you know. I'm thinking about a uh, doing something, you know, standard like a, 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 a JB, but that's more of a neck position or something, or I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. What will probably end up happening is someone will come in and want to do a pickup swap on a guitar. And I'll take out their old pickups and I'll buy their old pickups from them for... <coughs> excuse me. Buy their old pickups from them. And uh, that way... And then one of them will sound decent. Better than this one and I'll swap them out. So... the delay. I'm not really a delay guy. Uh, actually, I run my delay yeah, on this one here, about right here. And that's 
that's really just something to give it a little space. <laughs> Just to give it a little space. So, uh, let's flip it on standby here and let's uh, do this little numbre. And that was in the loop, by the way with the delay. Let's go ahead and put the uh, first let's plug it in right out of the G10 into the pedal. Are you going to want to set up air or pull off? Of course you're going to want to pull off. Into the amp. There we go. Alright, let's go to a clean channel without a boost and set a tone here. So it's an overdrive pedal, and it's kind of like um, an OD1 circuit. I think that's what it's modeled after. I don't think there's a lot of variation maybe in the chips used. But the circuit's about the same. Uh, you have your volume, tone, and your drive. We can max out the drive here and set the tone at noon. Set the So it's not a, really a distortion pedal, it's an overdrive pedal. Uh, I usually run it with the drive and tone about noon, volume about 10 o'clock. Gives me just a little extra hair on it. Uh, but it cleans up, okay, so that's full volume on the guitar. So it'll clean up, you know, with some uh, volume input changes, um, things like that. But that's some basic tones <laughs> off of the overdrive I built and the delay. Um, it's I'm not used to playing to demo these kind of things. Um, 
So to have something that I just riff that's not in any way some kind of copyright infringement is um, something I'm not practiced at. I usually tend to do what most players do is either break down into a scale kind of thing or a warm-up pattern or chunking chords or playing a riff that's already written. And uh, that's a no-no. So... Uh, you get the chunking chords and, and stuff. Sorry about that. But give you a little bit of an idea of the way they sound. Overall, I'm pleased with the pedals, pleased with the service I got from the company. Um, both of these pedals are tweakable. You know, I mean, if you're to the point where you're building these and you want to take it to the next level, there's things that's tweakable. Even if it's something like this pedal here has an internal potentiometer that is, I believe if I remember correctly, in the gain circuit. So you can regulate how much gain this thing's actually going to do. Now it's not something that's, you know, you can do out here. It's, a, it's in, a, in a little internal potentiometer, but there's one in there. So just with a little tiny screwdriver, you can change some of the voicings of some of these pedals. Um, and then you can always change resistor values and um, the the chips. You know, there's several chips that do the same thing: an overdrive chip or a delay chip or whatever. There, there's many of them that do similar things but sound different doing it. So you can uh, buy chips and swap them out because these do come with. Uh, you're not soldering the chip itself to the board. It has a socket that you solder to the board, and the chips you could pull out and put in so um, you know you, you can play with them a little bit too if you're taking it to that next level uh, both of these are both bone stock um, the value on that internal potentiometer on this one has been played with I think I actually turned it up um, I don't remember its value and I don't remember what I turned it to so sorry about that if you want to know what it's like when you change it Buy one, put it together, play with it. That's half the fun. That's half the fun. And uh, it's great when I got my pedal board all laid out. And I got quite a few pedals now that I've built. And um, they, you know, oh, that's a cool, you know, that's a cool pedal. Uh, who builds that? And I did. You know, oh, really? Uh, okay. And if there's someone who's gear geeky, like the people who'd be interested in this video, They'll say, oh, what circuit did you use, or what'd you build it out of, or what's it do, or this or that. So, um, it's a lot of conversation points just right there, excuse me, right there, off the bat, just because you build it, and it's your circuit. So, sorry for the squeaky chair, if you can hear it. Sorry for the poor playing. Sorry for the rambling and wrong vi the 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 bees. And Obi, he's on the windowsill, but I don't think he wanted in the frame today. Tell him bye, Obi. Nah, he's asleep. He's sunning in the window. So, anyway, till next time, guys. Share the music. Share the love. Peace.